lads. It's an early morning, it's nice weather. We're repping the Lockwood merch down to Shropshire lads for some good to do roost stuff. This is actually one of the shirts that I actually like just found in the garage from when I literally first put my first ever order in for Lockwood Tire. Madness, I forgot I had this one, it was all packaged up. We got it out, lads, because it's looking smart. Whoa, bloody Nora. You know what, these immobilizers fuck me off so much. So as you can probably tell by the thumbnail, lads, we are getting the wheels powder coated, something extravagant, something extroverted, because I feel like the Subaru blends in too much, and you know what I'm like, I absolutely fucking love. Hey, look at me. So, we're getting them powder coated. We're, getting, we're at powder coating Shropshire on Facebook. I'll put links and stuff. Andy here is gonna sort me out today. He's just come, we're going with a purpley sort of color, but he says he's got three colors that he wants me to look at. And I need to choose some, so let's go and have a look at these colours. Yeah, they're nicer. We did a motorbike frame recently, 4.5, and it was there, it was very nice. And then he said, what, what, what were the other ones he said? Uh, about a copper, apparently. But, um... I don't think that one would go with the car. It, I no, think no. it needs to be a more purpley, bluey one. Purple, yeah. Thinking about it, I think this is a much better match to the stripes. A little bit darker. I think that's a better match to the stripes. So this is the wheel that had a fight with me brake fluid. Wait, is is yeah it is yeah it is. All the lacquer cut came off as well. Inside the wheel was as well off on that brake fluid. So this is going to be a little quick before. We need to remember which wheel that is then. Mark him. That's the look of a sad wheel, isn't it? <laughs> That's the look of a fucking awful wheel. <laughs> if you put your hand in that acid, what would it do? Would it take your skin off? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it would um, remove your skin in about an hour. An hour? Oh. <laughs> right. do you a good old acid bath. Yeah. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, because before I got the front ones balanced. Oh wait, are these the old tyres? Uh, is this the rear one? Yeah, so this is the rear wheel. Before I got the front ones balanced, I had so much wheel wobble, so the balance is going to be well off on these as well, I'm guessing. Is it difficult putting the tyres back on once they're all like perfect? You, have, you ever, have you ever like scratched them or anything? No. Nah, with all that, mate, that's how it's... It's easy. That's really the worst thing, because the amount of times I've gone to get my tyres changed and I've always scratched my alloy, like... Properly, doesn't it? So excited to see what it's going to look like. I'm trying to get a picture in my head and I, I just can't. So it's, I can't wait to see what it's going to look like. I must have dropped my phone in here. Oh. <laughs> what would I do? Would you, would you be able to grab it straight away, you think? Or would you not be able to do that? Would it fuck it straight away? Would man. it fuck it? <laughs> Jesus! Bloody! There's some copper grease on them. It looks like a little dress, doesn't it? <laughs> not quite ready yet. Not quite. I'll put the dress back in. <laughs> it's Maya. That's what my my gown was called. <laughs> oh, it takes me back. I feel like I'm, it actually looks exactly like my my old car. I'm doing his wheels, Oh, they're so beautiful. Right now, I wish I still kept mine. Obviously, I love the Subaru, but uh, when he's watching this video and is not watching me, oh, I used to have one of these and one of the best cars I've driven, but. Working on them just made my life miserable, so I had to get rid of it. It's like some out of the Simpsons, this, isn't it? Bottoms and actual blasted and the tops not yet. Look <coughs> well. Look well good. Rims polished. Mix out. Clean. 
ready for the oven. Yeah, for, I, I didn't think how nice the wheels are when they well when they've got about six layers of different cold paint on. It kind of takes the the yes. essence away from them, doesn't it? In a way, they've got to be outgassed now. So they go into the oven and they'll be outgassed for half an hour. Is that outcast? What is it? Outcast then? Like out, out the country, get out, lads. I bet it's well satisfying just picking that up in it in a big bunch. I'm not going to, obviously, but... I'll tell you what, mate, it's, there's layers of paint on here. Oh. Lockwood's definitely having a go with this thing. Definitely, lads. Okay, buddy, let me uh, just show you how to do it. So your hands in there, just push them in and find the fingers. Uh-huh. Okay. You grab the hose. Yeah. And you hold it tightly before you press that. Right. You press that. Oh. <laughs> My bloody wrist! Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! A lot of force in that! Oh. So the positive charge is in the gun. That makes the gun, uh, uh, the powder coming out of the gun positive. There's a negative connected to the item, uh, the substrate. And it's that that attracts the powder to the item. See, people, people say that and it's like I'm still no closer to understanding how it works. <laughs> so is it like, does it come out, it, if you felt it, did it actually feel like a powder? Or does it feel it's like... It's under a bit of pressure because it's compressed air as well that right. helps the powder come out. So it, it comes out of the gun at quite a rate. If it's a very intricate piece with lots of corners and angles, you can set the voltage to be higher. It's called KVA and uh, that helps the powder to adhere to the substrate. So when you spray it, does it come out like glossy or is that the heat that makes it like that? No, it's the heat that makes it like heat that. Lots. So it actually comes out as a powder. Right, okay. So that'll be interesting to see. Let's have a look at the powder. Wow. Ah. So that's the powder, that's the negative, that's the positive. See how it clings to it? Alright, yeah. It's actually clinging to the negative. So weird. I thought it'd be like blasted out, not like how no, it just no, come no, out no. there. It's oh, very, it's strange. Very, very gentle. It's, uh, It'd be nice to see the purple going on there. Oh, uh, what? Well, now, the purple is actually a white powder. Because, right. Because it's a candy. It changes colour when it goes into the oven. So they're heat, being heated up before the primer. They're being uh, outgassed at the moment then we make sure they're clean before we put the prime on. That is where the positive charge goes through. So when the powder passes through the nozzle, it gets electrically charged through there, through to the negative. Man's got his safety shit on. Don't know what this means. <laughs> safety? What's that? If we can hear you with that mask on. <laughs> you what, lad? I've connected the earth, and now I'm going to start to spray the powder, yeah? yeah. You can actually see it getting wet as it gets hot. It's so cool. Back in the oven, bulking season in the oven, pizzas. So now he's going to add a layer of black for the base for the purple. Look at this. Whoa. 
before. That's before the purple and the gloss, Jesus. This is the purple, which is white for some reason. So apparently it goes on white and then when it gets hot, then it turns purple, but you can actually see the flecker a little bit in there already, but oh, it's going to look so good. Oh. So weird. Exciting stuff. <laughs> this is called the flowing process, is it? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, look at him. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. They're going to look so good on it. That's where the lack of. They're actually like the perfect colour to the stripes pretty much as well, which is, oh. How nice is that, eh? Beautiful. So the lacquer on, this is the lacquer, they've gone white, it's so weird how it all works. This is the lacquer, then we're done, I think. Yep. <laughs> oh. Here they come, the final product. <laughs> Might be scrapes on the side of the door now. Oh Jesus! They're gonna suit the car so well. I feel the heat off them. Oh, they're gonna make the car look so much more different, which is what I like. Oh, they look so cool. Slowly coming together. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so much better now the wheel's low. Yeah, oh, it's nice. very nice. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's way more me. I know. Thank Facebook, you very much, honestly. A Facebook review and a little bit on Insta, yeah. that'd be great, mate. A lot on YouTube, oh yeah, I'll put some good Keep pictures touch, on. So like I said, lads, the cars, it's just so much more me now. So much more me, it's so much cool, it stands out way more. I can't thank you enough, Andy and Andy from Powder Coat in Shropshire. Thank you so much. I've always wanted to put, uh, I've always wanted to learn about Powder Coat and then to just do it with such cool guys and such nice guys and to learn the process and actually get involved and do it myself. Well, it's absolutely amazing. So please go and give them a like on Facebook or Instagram. And if you are in, if you do want anything Powder Coat and they do everything that they were telling me they do baskets, you know, they do bike stuff, motorbike stuff, all kinds. So everything I'm actually gonna go and take my intake manifold down to them one day and get that done in the same color as well But thanks for watching lads. I hope I hope you all like this video something different something hands-on which I love doing and Meeting new people. I absolutely love doing that as well. Well, thanks for watching lads. I love you all See you next time